Hi everybody, it's Anne. I'm back and I'm going to be doing a couple of different things. I'm probably filming a couple of different videos wearing this look and these clothes and we'll see how it goes. First one I'm doing is I'm picking up the colorful makeup tag that Anya did and I've got her channel linked below and there's several questions and she came up with this because she loves working with color and believe me she has some colorful looks that are absolutely spectacular love them the questions when and why did you start using color well, when I first started wearing makeup, I was a teenager, and at the time, being a teenager, in the late 60s and early 70s and such, there was a lot of color going around anyway. <laughs> there was a lot of blue, there was a lot of heavy eyeliner, there was a lot of bright pinks, and I just kind of started there, you know, good little hippie child. And then it just kept going from there. And now I'm getting away with wearing even more color because at 60, who's going to stop me? <laughs> what is my favorite color to wear? Well, that gets to be a little bit of a problem, you see, because I love to just put colors wherever. The only problem I ever have with color is that most purples make me look bruised. Um, I'm trying to play with some of the more intense purples that are not so, you know, quiet and dusty and that kind of thing because I'm hoping that if it's bright enough it will overcome the the issue of looking like a bruise. Um, who are your favorite influencers to follow that inspire you color wise? Well there's Anya and then there's Anya. Well Anya Stamper who was also called Pink Sweets. So there's two Anyas, and then there's Annette, and then there's Raw Beauty Christie. And it's, it, there are so many people out there that just love to play with color. And every time I see the new palette that James Charles came out with, with, with Morphe, I want that palette. I'm like crossing my fingers and saving my shekels because I want to play. It's fun. What do your family and friends think of your colorful makeup style? My grandson, who is seven, thinks it's just peachy. He loves bright color anyway, and he thinks it's wonderful. My son and my daughter-in-law seem to be pretty good with it. They go, oh yeah, mom's at it again. My poor beleaguered husband, you gotta watch out for him. He'll actually help me put more color on. <laughs> He's as bad as I am when it comes to some things. Um, we've got one other member of the house, which is my daughter-in-law's mother. And so far, she doesn't really say a lot about it. So, I don't know where she stands. Um, but most of the people that I know are enjoying watching me have fun, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> is there a color that you're looking for a perfect formula with? Yeah, it's that purple. I need something that doesn't go dusty and start looking like a bruise when I'm wor working with my skin tone. I keep hoping. We shall see. 
but that's you know I asked people what I should color my hair next and a lot of people said purple and I said no <laughs> would you rather wear neutral lip color and colorful eyeshadow or colorful lips and neutral eyeshadow for the rest of your life if I really had my way about it nobody would be asking me to make that choice it would be the eyeshadow though I would want the colorful eyeshadow I mean why why not I mean you know lips you can like you can get around it but it's like for all I know I'll take a neutral lip and dust some of the glitter over it or something to, to zhuzh it up a bit but yeah I gotta have my colors I gotta have my eye colors what is your opinion on glitter I don't really like the just loose powder glitter yeah I know you get the 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 glitter glue and you just tap it on there but I find that with the loose powder glitter I end up with more of it in my eye than I do where I really want to put it and my eyes are rather important to me I would rather keep the glitter out of my eyes I'll take you know like a little glitter cake like this and back it up with some of the glitter glue or like the little Stila mini that I've got here I'll use that but I, I'm really not fond of just the plain loose glitter What is the go-to colorful eyeshadow palette at the moment? That one is a little tricky. This one is called the Pressed Powder Eyeshadow Palette. It's by Flossy Sunflower. I picked it up on Amazon for like a song. I'm not sure if they still have it or not. There may have been some problems because you see it's kind of a miniaturized version of the Jacqueline Hill. It's even got the little message up here about, you know, this is dedicated to all of my subscribers thing. It doesn't have her signature anywhere, but even though it doesn't say it on the front or on the back, it's definitely a knockoff. But these are the colors that I used to do the eye look I've currently got on so yeah all right I didn't pay that much for it the pans are only about the size of the tip of your finger I used this shade no we don't have names this shade and this shade down here to do this eye look and right now that's the most colorful thing I've got with some pretty good eyeshadows in it they do fairly well anyway that's pretty much it for answering the questions for the colorful makeup tag I'm having fun I hope you had fun. I hope some of you take up this challenge. It's a great challenge. Now, the questions will be in the description box. So will the link to Anya's channel and to her video that she did when she made the channel. Ch channel. The, the uh, challenge. So, go watch. Go look for the tag. There's a lot of other people that have done it. Go play. Grab up your colors. Have a party. And do the challenge. Thank you for joining me. I'm very pleased to have you here. If this is your first time, please subscribe. If you subscribe, please hit the little bell icon. That way 
YouTube is supposed to let you know when I post anything. If you came back on purpose, hi, thank you. I hope everybody has a good holiday if you celebrate, or a good rest of the week and weekend if you don't. And I will see you the next time. Be good.